We are back live on Sports Center. College hoops talk now. Whatever the defensive game plans are against BYU junior guard Kyle Collinsworth, safe to say they're not working. Collinsworth has already set College Hoops' single-season record for triple doubles with the five, five he's already racked up. The record for triple doubles in an entire career is six. His numbers on the stat sheet are eye-popping, but somehow, some way, this story has flown under the radar. That is until now, because we're going to welcome Kyle Collinsworth inside SportsCenter. Kyle, thanks for being here. First of all, just spill the secret for our viewers. What's the key to doing something nobody in the history of college basketball has ever done? Um, I think it's just the off-season work you put in every day. It's all the little drills you do, the, the weight lifting, the extra work, extra shots. And just all those little things add up, and it allows you to do all the great things. You seem pretty mellow about it, but what makes this accomplishment even more astounding for you is that you had a serious ACL injury when you guys played Gonzaga in the West Coast Conference Tournament last March. So here we are in February. We're talking less than a year, Kyle. Five triple doubles. What have the last 11 months been like going from writhing in pain there to where you are right now at the top of the charts? Yeah, it, it's, been, it's been a rough road. It's been a long journey. When I first got hurt, I remember they told me that I'd be back in 10 months. Hmm. And now, 11 months later, I have five triple doubles. So it's just been a lot of patience, and I, I set a goal, and I worked really hard to get back, and I just took it day by day and kind of had a can-do mindset, just focused on what I can do at the time and just took it day by day. You're like the Adrian Peterson of college basketball. People said you'd lead less than a year, and indeed... You did. I want to ask you, because you played different opponents this year. You played in the West Coast Conference, some non-conference basketball. What's the craziest way you've seen a team defend you this season, considering they know what you can do scoring, passing, and rebounding? Uh, sometimes they try putting, like, a bigger guard on me, someone even bigger than me. So I think that's kind of been the craziest thing. They put, like, a 6'7 guy on me. Uh, St. Mary's tried doing that last game. So I'd say that's probably the craziest defense I've seen so far this year. Teams need to get a little more crazy because that's obviously not working. Um, last night you struggled. <laughs> this is just tongue-in-cheek here. I'm just looking at your stat line last night. Man, just 17 points, 9 boards, and 3 assists against St. Mary's. Tongue planted firmly in cheek. Uh, how were the Gales able to hold you in check like this? Um, I think they made me more of a score, you know, they, they stayed on shooters and they were good at picking me up in transition and stuff like that. And it's funny because when I play a game like that, people are disappointed. They're like, you didn't get a double-double, <laughs> not even alone a triple-double. So it, it's pretty funny. So it, it's been fun, though, you know, having the fans expect me to at least get a double-double, if not a triple-double. Keep in mind, Shaquille O'Neal is one of those guys that's got the six career triple doubles. You could be in company with him with one more of those. Best of luck tomorrow at home against Pacific, but probably I should be wish wishing Pacific the best of luck, especially because we'll be taking on you <laughs> tomorrow night yeah. in Provo. Thanks a lot, Kyle. Thank you. Appreciate it. You got it.